Hello, hello, hello everyone and welcome back to Tooth and Scrubs Gaming. Thank you so much for joining me here today in Jurassic Park The Game. If you haven't checked out the previous episodes, I suggest you go check them out. We're getting into some pretty heavy stuff here. Uh, the group just made it to the Marine Center and we're gonna see what Dr. Sorkin's gonna do. She just went down the elevator. Uh, we can't see it from Jerry's view right here. So let's go ahead and see what everything else is going on and work what our way down there in a few minutes. I don't know. Looks like a Mosasaur. Mosa what? It looks kind of scary. Well, it's sort of a, a sea lizard of sorts. You think of a um, big moray eel with a crocodile head. Croco eel? Great. Sounds charming. Don't worry. There are no sea creatures on my list of park animals. Then what are all the feeder fish for? Feeder fish? Yeah, we came through a big room filled with tanks of fish. Laura said they were for feeding other animals, like whales. Hmm. Well, let's not jump to any conclusions. Not yet. Do 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 do. All right, let's see what Jess has to say here. How you holding up, Jess? I can't stop shaking. I'd literally rather be back in jail for shoplifting. I'm just so tired of running, Dad. I know, I know, me too. But we're safe for now. Interesting concept, living fossils. I guess you can't expect a mosquito to feed on fish swimming hundreds of meters under the sea. This little pool is cool. Were these creatures all cloned like the dinosaurs? No, these aren't actually extinct animals, Jess. They live in the oceans today. They're called living fossils because they haven't evolved much from the ancient fossil forms discovered by paleontologists. Oh, is that a horseshoe crab? Could be. To be honest, I don't really know all that much about sea fauna. <laughs> fauna. All right, so and we already looked at that. So let's go over to the other. Here's the I'll elevator. Be by the Take elevator. a peek at that. Right. Okay, Dad. There's Nima. What's Nima looking at? Great. Where would the training manual be? Uh, do do do. Do we have anything to say? Is everything all right between you two? Mind your own business and get the elevator running. I wasn't talking to you. No more fighting. Things are bad enough as they are. All right, and let's go to the information desk. Looks like there's something back there that might be useful for Jerry to get this elevator running here in a few minutes. Information. Sure could use some now. All right, so we've got... Looks like photos of oh, everything. Very clever. Looks like they're using numbers from the dates of the Paleozoic era as daily key codes. Today is Saturday. I need Friday's code. Oh, figures. Okay, let's see here. Ordovician, Cambrian, then Paleozoic? Oh, God, I give up. I'm a Mesozoic guy. Where are they getting these photos? I just need to know the order here. Oh, it came off the, the statue, the pillar, whatever that was. Here's the manual, it oh, looks good. like. Instructions. Insert operator's key into key slot. Okay, etc., etc. Code expires in 24 hours. Morning operations reset procedure. Turn key counterclockwise to input notch and hold for three seconds. Keypad will reset and beep three times. Turn key clockwise to reset. Enter previous code, then new code. Huh, that's easy enough. Don't jinx it, Jerry. You got me helping you, so we might mess all this up. All right, so it looks like we got the other three photos down here. We got Cerulean, Permian, and Devonian. Um, and based on the the order, hold on, let's go back. Can we go back out? Let's go. Oops, I just want to back out here. There we go. Um, let's back out. Today is Saturday. Need Friday. Need Friday's code. code. That's Confucius. Oh, figures. Okay, let's see here. Ordovician, Cambrian, then Paleozoic? Oh, God, I give up. I'm a Mesozoic guy. Where are they getting these photos? Mesozoic. I just need so to know I the think order we here. need the... I think we need the... Permian? Yeah, I think we need this one. Permian. Sounds right. Yeah, we're going to choose this one. Okay, best guess. All right, and then let's go see if we can get the elevator to work. Well, let's see what Billy has to say. Billy, do you have anything to say? Well, no, we don't want to ask him that. All right, and then, whoops, 
Let's head back here. There we go. Alright, and let's have ourselves a, a gander. Okay, so we have to go to input. Is that what it was? So we're at reset, so input, one, two, three, and then, okay, reset. Perfect, now we should be able to Nine, reset that two, code. Five, one. All right, new code. Let's keep it simple. And there we go, we got the elevator working. Good job, Jerry. Relax. See what? Damn it, you careless idiot. Uh, what was that thing? Some kind of spy gear? Yeah, that's right. Top secret. In fact, if you tell anyone about it, I'll have to kill you. You won't lay a finger on her. I was just kidding around. Everyone, I got the elevator working. <sighs> about time. What's going on here? Nothing. We're all cool. Do 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 do. Just picking up on Jeez, something. Get over it. Let's go. We don't got all day. Dad, my ears. Attention. What's going yes. on? The Lagoon Rotunda and Spectacular is housed in a pressurized underwater environment. We suggest you pinch your nose and push your breath to equalize your ears while we descend. If you experience any lasting discomfort or feel unusually giddy, let your attendant know immediately. Giddy? They're talking about nitrogen narcosis. It's a risk of breathing pressurized air. What makes you the expert? I, uh, saw it in a movie. Whoa! Is that where we're going? I think so. That's kind of cool, actually. That's, uh, I wish there was something My like this God. in the films, the original I wasn't films. expecting any of this. This is so cool. Careful. I'll lead. You got it, Billy. Cool. Look at that. That's a big gate for hammer. something. This can't wait. Can you connect me to Mr. McGuire? Or no, Peter Ludlow. Please hurry. No, look. This is Dr. Lawrence. Oh, I have a bad feeling about this. Hm. I am still on the premises. A bad feeling Get myself too, somebody. Jerry. I'm gonna say that door's gonna be locked. Mr. Parker, I do not need rescuing. I do not want the bombing waylaid. I want it stopped. It's locked from the inside. Surprise, surprise. What? Let's take a peek it's through the window. It's not contaminated. This is a wildlife preserve. These animals are not diseased. They are extremely endangered. See what Jess is going to do here. Uh, she can take a peek outside, it looks me. like. And then peek through the window. I wonder if Dr. Sorkin can see us here. Well, now she's definitely going to see us. Control panel over here. Hey, Dad! This looks like an intercom up here. What? Where? Good find, honey. Laura, it's me, Jerry. Who else would it Laura? be, Jerry? Jerry, I hear you, and I'm glad you're here. This is gonna be a lot easier now. What have you been doing? We're gonna stop the bombing, Jerry. This island must be preserved. All 
Ooh, she's locking us in. Tricky, tricky. I have taken the remaining survivors hostage. There are four others, three Americans and one Costa Rican. I won't let them go unless the plans to bomb the island are completely rescinded. Uh... How dare you leverage us as pawns? We want off the island. Help us or let us go. Five people are better than one. Protesting is a game of measurable attrition. Protest? <laughs> My god, this isn't a political maneuver? You're putting us in danger to serve your own agenda? We deserve a chance to survive! Think about Jess, Laura. This isn't something you want on your conscience. I'm sorry, Jerry. I need you here. Uh... Billy, will InGen stop the bombing? Doubt it. InGen is not the one dropping bombs, it's the U.S. military. And the contingency is based around a biohazard cover story. She may just be delaying the inevitable. If you don't offer me some sort of guarantee that the island will be preserved, I will have to escalate matters. This is lunacy! Fine, put the military on the phone. Hello? Hello? You want to see contamination of the global ecosystem? She's Laura, gonna release there are that other options here. Holding us against our will to save the dinosaurs is only one poorly thought out solution. You're smarter than that, Laura. I know, Jerry. I know what I'm doing. I clearly expressed the consequences of threatening this island. I scored a line in the sand that has been ignored and trampled over by InGen, by the government, and now I exercise my resolve. Laura? I'm going to free the Mosasaur. Are you mad? A land dinosaur paddling to the mainland is one thing, but you're talking about releasing an apex predator into over 70% of the global ecosystem. It's only one. It can be recaptured. Before it eats the last of the humpbacks? Oh, don't be dramatic. <laughs> Laura, don't. Nuke the whales. Plan B. You get him, Yoder. Smashy, smashy. All right, well, I think that's a good place to leave us hanging, a nice cliffhanger that we can come back to. We'll see what Billy does with this fire axe. I don't think it's going to be good for Dr. Sorkin, but we'll have to find out. Thank you so much for coming out and watching this Tooth and Scrubs video here in Jurassic Park, the game. I appreciate all the likes, the subscribes, the views, everything you guys are doing. Keep it up. I love it, and I'm here for you. Hopefully you have a fantastic new year. Uh, if you want to get this content on time in orderly fashion, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next video.